What's up, people? It's your man, the Black Cobra, back once again. And today, I'm excited. I'm pumped. I am thrilled. You may not be able to read the box, but it says in motion. Yes, it does. The V11 has finally touched down here in my house. I'm excited. I'm thrilled. Oh, I was out riding a little today and I got a message on my phone that said, hey, there's somebody at your door. And I watched him drop the package off to my wife and kids. And let me tell you, I was smiling from ear to ear. The rest of my ride today was amazing because I knew that I had this baby to come home to. So it's time. Let's get into it. Let's go. All right, got my knife, got my excitement, <laughs> and here we go. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir, yes, sir. All right, you know, you don't wanna damage the box too much. In case something happens, you may have to send it back. You wanna definitely have a good box to send it back in. And you guys have seen the InMotion unboxed already, so you know the box within the box is amazing. So let's see, let's see, here we go, here we go. Oh, there's that black box you see inside, that in motion box. Oh, baby. Whew. I'm not even gonna take the box, well, no, I have to. I was gonna leave the box in the box, but their box is so nice looking, I gotta get a peek at it. Let's take it out. Oh yeah, get that over there. Get this bad boy back right side up. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 oh. Oh. oh my God, there it is. <laughs> Let's do it this way. <sighs> Look at that. That puppy is nice. I'm liking it. All right, well, my light's glaring off of it a lot, but there it is. <laughs> Do you guys see this? <laughs> All right. The box is so pretty, I almost don't want to open it. Not. Nah. <laughs> All right. Let's pull this off here off here oh ho, 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 ho. Woo. all right so as usual they got the pump that comes with it um, and they send this pump I'm glad they do I just don't know if maybe I can use my automatic pump if it's gonna work as well but I have this one so the manual pump I think is what they recommend I don't know all right my man Jason Thanks again, Jason and Zen. Thank you guys for making sure um, we get these wrist guards. I know, Jason, it was your thing. So um, I just want to say thank you. I appreciate you sending these because I've actually used a couple pair already when I went out with my kids, made sure they had some too. The tools, oh, I love that. They got an extension valve for the air. I like that. I was going to, actually, I think I already ordered one, but I'm glad they give you one anyway. Oh yeah, the charger. This was the original charger. Um, Jason already sent me the upgraded charger, um, which gives me two, which I love, I love. Thanks again. Jason from E-Wheels, making sure you get everything we need. Mm, mm, mm. The moment of truth. I'm just, I just want to give a shout out to Emotion for their quality. I mean, I have, I mean, okay, it's just the foam. I know, but this is, this, their attention to detail. This is some of the best packing and packaging 
that I've seen yet on any EUC ever unboxed. So they get kudos and credit. They know how to do it. All right, here we go, here we go. You know what, I'm not even, I'm gonna put it down all the way here on the floor. Let me grab one of my, one of my <laughs> duff stands. <laughs> and we're gonna take it out. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah. The stands maybe are they too wide. But like I said, the packaging, I, I mean, I know you can't, I mean, look at how thick and dense their packaging is, that the foam is crazy. This wheel was super protected. So we will throw this box in a box. We'll throw this box back into the box. <laughs> and we'll keep one box stored in another box until we need a box. <laughs> all right, enough with the boxes. <laughs> Whoo, all right, all right, all right. Oh, baby. <sighs> Look at this wheel, people. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. <sighs> I'm... I'm telling you, this is, this wheel is a work of art. Everything from the kickstand, which a lot of people made fun of, uh, but it's, you know, it's, yes, it's a piece of wire, but it's solidly, it's solidly in there and I haven't heard anyone have any issues yet. So, and the rubber, the rubber on this mud flap, I mean, I know that it could probably be a little bit bigger, and I think someone complained about they wanted it bigger, but this rubber on this mud flap, I don't think I've felt anything as good as this one yet on stock. Yes, you can get, some of them are 3D printed, and some of them, they do a good job afterwards, but stock, I haven't seen one this good yet, I think, and if I'm wrong, correct me in the comments down below, but I don't think so. Oh, just look at this. Oh my God. Woo. Woo -hoo. Yes, look at the pedals, the, the strong grip tape. Uh, the only thing I will say is I don't think I really wanted the orange coloring on here. Um, I'm not, you know, that big on orange. Um, so I don't think I would actually have put that color there, but it is what it is. It's their colors, what they're going with. I like the, the big size of the foot plates, as everyone has said. And um, just the feel of this wheel, that solid tire. God. I know it's three inches wide, not bigger than the others, but it's solid, boy. That, oh. All right. I'm impressed. And obviously, you know, you knew that. Just look at this wheel and how it's made. The structure, the attention to detail, the quality with which they made this wheel is so impressive. I'm gonna tell you, I'm really, really blown away. I really am. All right, so I'm not sure if, if we've got any juice in it. I really don't know, but let's find out. So I think it's touching, right? Yeah, it's touching the bottom. So let me, uh... oh, <laughs> oh my God. I love it. The display. Please active your vehicle. Oh my God. Please active your vehicle. I did forget to log into the InMotion app. I forgot Please to do that. Please active your vehicle. I meant to do that early. And I don't Please know. Please active your vehicle. All right, hang on. Oh. 
Oh, there we go. There we go. That's what I wanted. Under transportation mode, would you like to unlock this wheel immediately? Oh, I, yes, I would. Okay, so we got 38 miles. It says it'll go, and it looks like it's got three out of the five, five bars of battery. So that looks good. It's now unlocked. Um, the light in the back, let's see. Uh, oh, 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 there's that super bright light along with the loud fan. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I love how emotion sounds. The, the, they're loud. Um, and some people don't like it because you know they can be annoying, but I like how they make their wheels. I really, really do. And I, I can't tell you how much I love this display on the top. I'm gonna have to um, film it and, and put it in here up close because you can't tell it's there until you turn it on. And then if I'm riding, I can look right down between my legs and see the battery. That That's amazing. That's exactly what you want. Whew, boy. I really got to get a good view of this from all sides. And I know um, it's a mess down here, so I really don't want to go around and get a full angle, but I kind of have to. It's it's gorgeous. Oh, this is simply beautiful. Okay, enough drooling over this wheel. Let's see how it, how it feels. Let's see what I can do here. All right. <laughs> Take it off of the stand. <laughs> I gotta put air in the chamber. That's, but is that crazy or what? That you can do that that on an EUC now? That's just crazy. And what's funny about the the whole light housing? It feels like you can rotate it. You can't, but it does. When you look at the top, it feels like I can grab it here and rotate it back. That's just the space that it needs for this to go up and down. Oh, unless. It's got the release handle right here and it breaks it automatically. So if you're carrying it, you can grab it and it tips right away. And then you got the release handle. Oh, oh wow. I did not realize, I didn't realize how satisfying that was gonna be. The mechanism just locks, it locks right here like so solid. Hear that? You can hear how well built this is. Oh yeah. All right, well, before I get on it and ride, I'm gonna have to do some filling to the air chamber. So let's do that. <laughs> I keep forgetting that it has a kickstand. I want to go grab my um, my EUC stand, but I do need to put it down on its side. That's what I need to do. It's too pretty. I don't want to lay it down, <laughs> even to fill the air. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's pretty. Okay. One of the other things that I got, um, Jason from Ewills also sent me the screws. If you guys remember, they were talking about how the screws stripped out easily in the saddle part. And I have to take the saddle part off in order to fill the upper chamber, the upper air chamber, the negative air chamber. Um, and he gave me the replacement screws, which are really, really strong. Um, I think they're steel, I'm not sure, but um, I'm gonna replace those screws while I am filling this with air. All right, that's on there. A 
Really? It had nothing in it? <laughs> oh, wow. It really didn't. That was down to zero and I didn't realize that it was all the way empty. I mean, obviously they have to ship it, but I didn't realize it was that low. All right, and we have to get it. I think I need to get it to 150. So with my weight, uh, I'm 230. It says between 150 and 170 on the air. I'm gonna go on the lower end because I believe I remember hearing someone say, something about um they, they liked it on less air so i'm gonna go it's about just over 150. let's see if we can get this back off now yeah i twisted the hell out of that didn't i <laughs> And that's exactly why I went over a little because I had a feeling. All right, so this, they were talking about this housing getting damaged and how uh, Marty's video, he talked about how this screws on to this. So if you damage it, but now that I look at it, it's not completely flush. It does stick out a little bit. It sticks out a little bit underneath there. So I have a feeling if I don't put this on, I'm gonna get it damaged anyway, so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna leave mine on. I may I think I may put some tape over it, um, some black electrical tape over it to try and cushion it a little bit from damage. I think I might just do that. Um, so now the issue that I don't know about is whether. The other side is at zero also, probably is. Obviously they drain them both to ship them. Huh. So what does, I don't understand that piece. Oh, okay, I get it that engages it. So I probably should have disengaged it when I went to take it off. Screw it in, then engage it. Well, the good thing is, it's not that hard to do. I watched them doing it and I was like, oh man, that seems like it may take a little bit to do, but it, it really, is not hard. I just want to go a little above. Just. Yeah, because. Uh, oh. That'll tap it out too. Yeah. Uh, one more. A little above. Ha. So that when I. Go to take it off. If I pull a little out. If, uh, there we go. That release. Okay. That part was easy. Now the hard part, I believe, is going to be getting uh, the rest of it done. And I'm not sure um, how hard that is gonna be because I watched them do it, but now that I'm, I have it here, I don't remember what, I, what they did. So give me a minute. All right, so here we are. We have it set back up. We have it set forward so you can see that we have to remove the two saddle screws here, two saddle screws in the back. And if, if I want, I can use the extension that they give you to squeeze through and get to the valve. However, something that Duff pointed out and is, I was thinking the same thing, there's no release valve on here, but on the pump, there is a small release lever. So that release lever is supposed to help you disengage the air before you take the valve off and hopefully you won't get as much air loss when you take it off. So also I have these pack of replacement screws to replace these four screws in here um, that were sent to me by E-Wheel. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these out, replace them with that, take these sides, because if you take these top screws off, 
the side as well, the whole side of the saddle will come off. So once I remove the entire side of the saddle, I can access the valves a lot easier. So that's what we're gonna do now. If you don't have one of these ratchet screwdrivers, I would tell you to get yourself one. They work really well. I'm not gonna lie, I still have trouble doing all this that we have to do because I feel anxious with taking apart something that was put together with such precision um, in the factories over there. Now, I don't feel that way with all wheels because you know some wheels come with pieces here and wires there from certain companies and their quality assurance is not the same. However, with InMotion, I always feel like I'm getting a, a, like a quality product that they put a lot of time and effort into. Oh, oh, oh. Uh-huh. Looks like the ones on the side appear to be different than the ones here. So I will see if I can make an adjustment here. See which one fits this best. Uh huh. All right. So the other one, the one eighth fit better, and this one, the T15, fits best. And boom comes right off yeah so if you do drop it and break it you can replace piece by piece i definitely like that and i might as well take them both off at the same time that way i don't have to worry about it all right there's that. All right, so we have it all apart. Take my air pump. Um, all right, so you can see it a little bit better. I'm gonna turn it. All right, so you can see the valve is right here. Now they recommend around 50 PSI in the top. So what I'm probably gonna do is go about 60. And then, um, because I did notice um, there, there is a little air loss, even with the uh, mechanism that they have going on here that is pretty good. The whole engage, disengage thing is a really good idea. Uh, and it looks like, seems like it works really well, but there is still a little bit, oh, come on now. There is a little bit of loss and air and of course this does not seem to want to line up for me wow that did not want to line up for me at all that was weird so i'll engage it wow you'll notice when you pump it up that to get the 50 psi it's like nothing it takes like two seconds to put 50 psi in there Yeah, see, I'm going to go back and check it now. I think Duff did something similar. Yeah, see, you lose just a little. So you definitely want to go above where you're supposed to so that you come back down to where you need to be. You lose about 10 PSI right there. Right when it disconnects, even though this, this mechanism, the clamp disengages, excuse me, it dis disengages that shoe inside that, that accesses the Schrader valve. Um, 
there's still a little bit of airflow like between the two. So when you disengage that, the air is stuck in there. When you screw off this, it still escapes. So it ultimately turns out to be about 10 PSI. So you definitely want to go at least over 10 PSI. You know. <sighs> we'll do the same thing on the other side. I'm not going to turn it around because I believe you, you get the idea from what you saw on the other side. So I'm going to do it really quick here. This one lined up in two seconds. Didn't even give me trouble at all. I can I hear the air as it leaks out. And it, the idea is that if I use the valve extension, it would probably be more air, um, but maybe not. Um, because this, well, no, this engages the other side of the valve. So the part of the valve extension arm that accesses that, that would still lose more as you screwed it off. So you still, pro I pr you probably would get a lot more air loss there. So, all right, enough with that. Let's put this puppy back together. This, this reminds me, it's funny. The head, this reminds me the head of a cobra, like cobra. <laughs> Let me see if I can get this lined up right. Okay. Okay, that's what it is. Keep it tight. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Slide that in there. Slide this one in here. Okay. All right. Oh, almost forgot side screws. Gotta replace the screws and the side panels. I wanted to do this really quick because this came in tonight and tomorrow I have to, uh, to I'm trying to get it done so I can charge it up and go on a, a small group ride tomorrow. I think I wanna ride this. My monster has that nice seat. I didn't mod a seat on here yet, which I will be doing. Um, but I mean, it's hard to get this and not ride it. I will probably bring both wheels and maybe swap out, ride the same, the same uh, run with both. Maybe, we'll see. Oh my God, that's why. <laughs> When I tested it out before, I had, here, let me go up. Whoa, oh boy. That's crazy. Those of you who grew up with pogo sticks, that's exactly what it feels like, a pogo stick. <laughs> What's that? Am I over toward it that easy? Hmm. I gotta figure out what that is, but. Oh, wow, let me back up. I don't know if you can really see it from there. It's out the way. Let you see it from the side. Look at that. Look at the travel. The distance that it travels is crazy. <laughs> Now that's with a hundred. Woo! 
Ah, uh, all right, kid in the candy store. I'm so excited. So that's with 150 PSI in the bottom chamber. Some people said they let it out because that was a, uh, you know, there was, if there's too much air, then you don't enjoy it as much either. But I am looking at the fact that I'm 230 pounds. Um, I'm invested now. I got, I got to focus now, so I'm going to be shedding some pounds. But right now, I'm 230. Might even be 235. But I can tell you that 150 PSI in the bottom chamber feels like a lot. But once I ride it, then I'll be able to tell. I, w I can tell you that, you know, they were not lying. This height, the, um, the height from the ground is crazy. The ground clearance on this wheel is nuts. It, look, it, it goes over higher than the stand, the EUC stand, um, just rolling. And most EUCs are just nowhere near that. Even the monster is not that tall. It, that's just crazy height. I didn't measure it, but I think there's a 10 inch clearance, they said, or something like that. Let me see if I can, see if I can, uh, That's crazy. At the edge, it's 10. <laughs> the, the edge of the foot plate is 10 inches off the ground. That's crazy. 10 inches off the ground. 10 inch, almost a foot of clearance. Oh. All right, I'm excited. I can't wait to ride it. I will definitely be riding it tomorrow on a group ride. It's a small group ride, only a couple of people are coming out, but I will be at least be taking this on part of it. I don't know if I'm gonna do the whole way with this, but I will be taking it on part of it. I am so excited to get to ride this thing. I'm happy that I got it. I'm happy that E-Wheels was able to send it out to me. I will tell you though, um, full disclosure, I had the option to wait because this uh, wheel is the same as what Duff got. So it doesn't have the bearings, the sealed bearings on the new ones, the next batch that are coming in like two weeks, um, they're gonna be sealing the bearings um, because of what happened with Duff. He didn't do that with this model and I didn't wanna wait and I don't really ride in the rain so I wasn't really worried about it. Plus I have, you know, my warranty through E-Wheel. So if it does, if I do get a problem, they will, they will take care of it for me. So um, I, I was more excited to get it. And as we close in on September and October, it gets cold here. And I don't think I can ride much past that. And I wanted to get as much enjoyment out of this as I can. So I said, nah, I don't want to wait. Just send me out the, this model that you have. So they were very good um, in giving me, giving me the choice. And I appreciate that. Thanks a lot, Jason. Um, for that choice in the matter. Um, and there it is. That's, that's the puppy. I'll tell you more once I ride it more, but this was the unboxing, the air chamber filling. I'm hope I was able to, um, give you more information because, um, I didn't have a whole lot of information. Um, I just actually two seconds ago watched part of Duff's video, um, to make sure that I was doing it correctly. Thanks Duff. Um, but yeah, uh, that's it. V11 in motion, open. Now it's gonna be charging. Stay tuned for the next one so you can get some ride footage of me on the V11, putting it through its paces and getting it in. I can tell you from what I see right now, I'm happy. I love everything, the, even the, the molded rubber that they have on the handle, the solid feel of the handle. Um, but I really love this battery display. I know it sounds like a small thing, but having your battery display right here, I don't even have to look on the app. I just look down and it's right between my legs, right in front of me. Definitely a, a, a home run, slam dunk when it comes to thinking uh, clearly and uh, thinking outside the box because no one else really has that. Uh, so I thank you very much in motion for putting this together. Thank you very much for your thoughtfulness in this wheel. Um, I know it's not a perfect wheel, but it's a step forward. And I definitely, with my love of gadgets and gear, I'm excited about us stepping forward in technology and putting our best foot forward and trying to do the best we can. So, all right, 
I know I'm long-winded. Thank you for watching. If you're still here in the video, please do me a favor. Go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button so you can come back. And hit the notification bell so you're notified when I make new videos weekly. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. And if you're riding, remember, ride hard and keep it real. Peace. Yeah.